Yes. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, all right. So, hi guys, good morning. So today's topic is uh, serial number of management. So we'll go through the serial number management, how we work uh, with the serial numbers in the warehouse and what are its advantages, disadvantages. So basically we are trying to understand the basic level of uh, serial number management uh, in SAP. And uh, let me introduce myself before uh, we go to the topic. So I'm Sai Kiran and I'm a EWM consultant and I've been working with EWM since six years for now. And um, I've been working in EWM in US um, since six years. So that's about me. And yeah, let's go to the topic and whatever questions you have, please feel free to write those questions down. After the presentation, you can uh, start the questions and we can continue with the discussion. So let's jump into the topic. So today we're going to discuss, like I said, uh, we're going to discuss what are serial numbers and like how are the serial numbers uh, useful when you are working with a product and what is the serial number profile and uh, what are the requirements? What can be the requirements in the EWM? And how do you configure that? And what are the advantages and disadvantages? And how do you identify the requirements based on the business? So, so the serial numbers, the first thing that we need to understand is it's basically numbers that are given to the material in addition to the material number. So it's, it's like, it's just like the handling unit number, but it's, it's, it's a unique uh, combination to the uh, material. So here, um, using the serial numbers, operator can easily track the product inside the warehouse and combination of material number and serial number are unique. Um, the serial numbers are like the unique identification number particularly used to identify the product that is sold to the customer. So the, uh, this sentence basically means when you are uh, goods issuing or goods receiving from any customer or a vendor, you can identify the delivery with respect to the serial number as well. And this one says the serial number can be used to track the vendor and receiving um, um, details. Uh, the serial number can be used when we have a, a maintenance contract with the customer. So basically when you're having a contract with the customer to identify which product did you uh, send, send it over. So uh, to track the contract. So all these information can be tracked using the serial numbers. So to give you an example, so like a, if I take a step back here, uh, uh, if, if you are comparing it with the handling unit number, so handling unit number is a unique identification number throughout the warehouse. But here we can see the combination of material and the serial number is unique. So the first one, the first serial number that you see here is uh, 0323201. Uh, so you can use the same serial number for the a different material. So it's it's unique, but it's unique to the combination of that material. So you can use that uh, serial number again, multiple times, but for the different uh, product, but not for the same product. So this is how you can see inside the warehouse. Uh, so the next thing is, so to maintain this serial number, um, now we need to assign the serial number profile which is, which, ha, which basically is a four character abbreviation. So the, the standard one is uh, in SAP is 0001. And it helps us define the conditions of uh, how the business activities work. And so those conditions can be uh, assigned with respect to the serial number profile to that particular product. And here you can see uh, it basically allows us to control the serial number requirement and the number pattern that are that are used for the creation of serial numbers. So this profile, see, uh, this profile will allow us what kind of pattern that we want uh, for the serial numbers. And we must enter the number profile in the master record of the product. So that by that you can um, use the individual unit of the product to assign the different serial numbers. So to control. Uh, the serial number, how they work inside the warehouse, the profile is an important um, setup that we need to maintain 
using this prof uh, serial number profile, we can uh, assign a lot of different conditions, patterns, and uh, maintain the master records. So this is uh, the main uh, configuration that we need to consider. So these uh, serial number profile are basically two types. One is non-harmonized serial number profile and the other one is harmonized. So here we'll discuss what's harmonized, what's non-harmonized. So let's start with uh, non-harmonized. Non so whenever we set up a serial number for SAP S4 HANA, then uh, we need to assign that to the master data, but that uh, that product, like that serial number will be assigned at global level. So what that means is when you assign that serial number, that will be only in ECC, but that not that will not be inside the warehouse. So that will be in a global level for all the warehouses. So, and we need to maintain a serial number profile in customizing for uh, EWM, uh, that is like independent first. So the first uh, statement says you have to maintain a serial number profile in ECC or S4. And the second statement says you have to maintain another profile in EWM, which is independent of the warehouse. And one more, which is um, dependent to the warehouse. So this serial number profile should be assigned to the material master of the product at warehouse level. So the second point is uh, you are assigning a serial number profile, which is independent. And the third one is you are again creating, you can create another profile, which is dependent to the warehouse. So you can like define separate uh, warehouse uh, serial number profiles and everything at warehouse dependent, warehouse not independent. And then uh, we can map that uh, S4 HANA to the dependent or not dependent. So after mapping in the system here, when the system is actually trying to search for it, it will actually search for the one that is dependent to the warehouse. So here you can see the when when the process when the when processing a product EWM searches first for a warehouse number dependent serial number profile. If there is no um, serial number profile assigned, then it will go and select for an independent uh, warehouse profile. So the harmonized um, is basically here. It's uh, straightforward where you can uh, see that when you assign a serial number profile in S4 HANA, as well as in EWM, they both match. They both, they both are one and the same. So that's why it's called harmonized, but whereas in non-harmonized, they both can be same or cannot be same. So here in harmonized, you can see, uh, you again have to maintain the same uh, serial number profile and in the master level uh, for the product. And the serialization setting for EWM are therefore assigned at the level of the party entitled to dispose, not at the warehouse level. And the in the warehouse product master, the serial number profile is read from the master uh, material master for the product in S4 HANA. So if this scenario is mainly useful, if you have two, diff, uh, two plants and you want to share that with one warehouse, and they have their own serial number profiles. So then you can use this harmonized serial number profiles. So this is basic understanding of how serial numbers work when they are harmonized and when they're not harmonized. Uh, in serial number, uh, so the requirement can be at the different levels in EWM. So the requirements that we basically face or that uh, from the business are um, when they want to use at the document level or the warehouse level or the stock level. So here we can see, like, let's uh, understand what the, what do we mean when we, when we say we are trying to work with the serial numbers at document level. So the first one, when it says document level, so when you are do, uh, receiving a product, uh, doing a goods receipt or uh, shipping out a product goods issuing. So you can trace that particular product using the serial number at document level. That is inbound delivery or outbound delivery. That's the only uh, situation where you can use the serial numbers to identify the inbound deliveries and outbound deliveries. But other than that, the rest of the uh, situations like where um, you, 
where you are uh, using the internal movements or uh, various task confirmations or any kind of uh, internal operations you cannot perform with the help of serial numbers here but in the gr like the, which which is inbound and outbound you can enter manually or they can also work with advanced shipping notification if there are any provided by asn if there are not nothing provided by asn you have to enter those manually every time in the document level if you're not entering anything uh, manually uh, you cannot process the goods receipt or goods issue which is a main factor here which will stop you to perform the basic operations of boots receiving and if you're looking at the warehouse level so here the additional step uh, to the document level is you can receive and ship out but you cannot do the internal movements here in the warehouse level you can do uh, the uh, warehouse task confirmations you can do the physical inventory and everything but you cannot do the internal movements and everything at the warehouse level and in the stock level you, this is uh, uh, the most uh, important one i would say uh, where most of the businesses would uh, request to implement this uh, stock level requirement because they want to trace the material down to the bin level so using this stock level uh, um, um, in ewm you can keep the track of the product with the help of serial number you for physical inventory activities or internal movements anything overall goods received goods receiving and goods issuing so this is the majority of the time uh, um, that is been used in the warehouses so these are the three different requirements that we can get from the business so we can decide which kind of um uh, implementation that we can select from so to give you the understanding of these three different ones uh, we can go through the systematic representations here so here we can see for the document level uh, this is the prdi screen where uh, this is the delivery and this is the item level and if i open the form view in this form view we can see the serial number requirement options here so usually if there is no serial number managed if if the delivery is not serial number managed you can see it's empty and here uh, th this would be the option but for us in our case uh, this is the document level so usually you'll see the option a over there which is document ma document uh, ma item managed so if it's a document item managed you can see here you can go to the monitor and you can um, navigate to the inbound delivery item tab and here you can see i'm entering the product and the serial number so using those two uh, parameters i can get the document number or the purchase order number so these are the uh, main uses of having a serial number at the document level but like like we discussed so all we can do is identify the document number inbound delivery and the majority of the cases this uh, document level is used to identify the return shipments or any scrapping or any deliveries that are being sent to the vendor so we will we will be able to identify the document number or the purchase order so this is how you identify the document level and if we go to the warehouse level here again if we uh, see the same screen in prdi in the same uh, serial number requirement tab here the option will be b which is at the warehouse level and to see it in the monitor we can see the stock and bin where we can see the serial numbers on warehouse level so i give the product there once i enter the product i can see here for that product you can see the serial number that are assigned to that so this is what we can do when we are working with serial numbers at a warehouse level and at the inventory level so in the same prdi screen the option will be c and this is at like we said the stock level or the inventory level which uh, which basically uh, helps you store the material inside the warehouse with the stock uh, with the serial number and you can see that in the physical stock here with the product and here you can see the serial number as well so you are storing the product in the bin with assigning the serial number to the product so these are the main differences how you identify uh the uses um, of these levels 
So the configuration that we need uh, to set up is you create the serial number profile in customizing for plant maintenance and customer service and create the material master record and enter the serial number profile and you activate the batch management record for the material if it is to be uh, ma managed in batches. So you create the serial number uh, master records in advance in case we need to, we need a pool of serial numbers. So that's about the configuration. So this is the pictorial representation of a setup in um, IM side, the con uh, config. So we have to set up in both IM and EWM side. So this is for the IM side, and this is the navigation that you see where you can set up the uh, um, serial number profile uh, on the IM side. So you once you navigate to this uh, screen, you can see the serial number profile and you create this uh, PHVE or any standard 10001 based on your requirement. And in that uh, serial number profile, you can give different procedures. Once you double click on this, you can enter these uh, procedures. So this is what we were looking at before. A, B, C uh, levels. So this was at document level, this was at um, warehouse level, and this was at um, inventory level or stock level. So this is the uh, basic configuration where uh, we do on the IM side. And if we go to the EWM side, so this is uh, in MM02, but uh, on the plant level, you need two, two uh, places where you need to configure. One is in the sales and general plant uh, tab where you can see we can configure here. And this is at the warehouse level where you can see we have the serial number profile. So this is in the same setup where you can change the master data for the product. So these are the basic configurations how you do on IM side and EWM side. So this is about um, the configuration about the serial number profile and also what how the requirements would be. And here we can see what are the idea, what are the advantages or the complications or the disadvantages of different levels, how you identify the requirements. So what is the trade off on the business? So what a business um, is considering as their priority. So based on that, you uh, take the decision to move forward with the advantages or disadvantages. And we can see these are the some of the advantages that we have or disadvantages that we have. Uh, this is about the serial number profile guys and if you need any references i have attached it here and I, that's all about uh, serial numbers and the profile and their uses uh, please feel free to ask any questions from now i think that's it Raju. Uh, thank you so much guys thank you so much for your presentation yeah thank you sai for this wonderful presentation and then uh, yeah We'll, we'll talk about if any issues are there. Just a second. Let me stop recording.